Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So Stephen A. Smith is not high on the Miami Heat. He said they don't have enough. And this proves that everybody on first take, Stephen A. and all these people, they don't know basketball. All they have is jealousy, envy, and hatred towards the Miami Heat. Because when you really sit back and look, don't get me wrong. We don't have some of the big names compared to all the other teams like Luka, Joel Embiid, Giannis. But at the end of the day, the Miami Heat win games. And at the end of the day, the Miami Heat are in the playoffs. So you might not have some of the biggest names in the NBA. We don't have guys that are going to jump out the gym. We don't have guys shooting threes from half court. We don't have anybody with crazy handles. But we still have talent. We still have hard work and experience. And I think those are some of the biggest things in the NBA. And also, too, we have a very deep team. And I think we have the best coach in the NBA with Eric Spolstra. So when you have all that together, along with Jimmy, Bam, and Tyler, I will put this team up against anyone. And I think we've been able to prove that even with players hurt. We've had Kyle Lowry out. We've had Tyler Hero out. Jimmy Butler, Twisted Ankle. We've had Bam and Obile. We've had everybody out at one point or another. And we're still either going to the Eastern Conference Finals or the NBA Finals. So what does that really say about all the other teams when they can barely even beat us at full strength? Can you imagine this Miami Heat team at full strength going into the Eastern Conference Finals or the NBA Finals? Like I said, I will stack up this team against anybody in the NBA. So I understand where the outside hate comes from because once again, they hate the Miami Heat. They're jealous. They're envious. They just don't understand how we continue to do it over and over and over again. But guess what? That's what happens when you have one of the best organizations in the NBA. Same thing with getting the great draft picks. Look what this Miami Heat team has done with Bam Adebayo, drafting Tyler Hero, drafting Jaime Hawkins Jr. And we still have Nikola Jovic on the back burner, getting better each and every day and getting those NBA reps. So at the end of the day, I think what the Miami Heat are doing collectively as an organization will always set us up for the future. We don't care where we are. We want to lay low, win games. And when it comes to the big stage, we're always going to be there. I don't care what anybody says. And we've been able to prove that with three Eastern Conference Finals, two NBA Finals, even when people counted us out, even when we were injured, we will always have enough. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.